This morning, we also, of course, remember the 184 lives lost at the Pentagon. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raditz, is right there with a look back at what happened at the Pentagon and the security concerns we are still facing on this day. Martha, good morning to you. Good morning, Dan. They unfurled a flag here just a short time ago on the side of the building that was struck by Flight 77. 184 people died. 64 of them were on that airplane. That flag this morning, a reminder of 20 years ago when they unfurled a flag over the side of the building when it had a huge gash in the side of the building. Also have to say, Dan, one of the things that I think about this morning morning. is that the people who went back to work immediately back to work in this building. In fact, some of them never left. They were in operation centers here. Uh, They had to keep working. And not only were they working to try to keep us safe, but they were, of course, uh, planning a war uh, that this is the very first time uh, that we have not had troops in Afghanistan since we started commemorating September 11th. Uh, the defense secretary will be speaking here. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff will be speaking here. Uh, both of those men consumed in the last 20 years by the war in Afghanistan and then the subsequent war in Iraq. Well, Guys. given that the, the war in Afghanistan is now over, at least for now, Uh, As we sit here two decades after September 11th, how has our country changed in terms of the security and and safety concerns that, that we've been facing for 20 years? Well, the risk is still here, of course, Dan. Uh, Both the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and Defense Secretary uh, said that it would be about two years, probably, before al-Qaeda could regenerate, if they regenerated, in Afghanistan. But that was before the Taliban took over Afghanistan, which is still a shock to so many people around the globe, and especially here at the Pentagon, but they watch those risks constantly. Obviously, we have uh, the Department of Homeland Security uh, after 9-11, 240,000 employees, and much of the FBI's focus shifted to counterterrorism. Dan? Martha Raditz, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.